Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Sarah Pedun and in this channel we talk about urban gardening. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell, like, share and leave me a comment. So today, I don't know if you can see the background. I'm trying to get everything organized. As you see the sacks are neat and the containers, but this side behind me i'm going to take it down it's very old and this other part looks i'm going to take down this and then clean the place guys it's a mess it's been so dry so i've not been doing a lot in the garden but yeah oh i tried to make this for my plants and it didn't go so well it was a DIY gone wrong. <laughs> Guys. So I made this turn. And it stood for two days. The second day it was already collapsing. But yeah, I tried. I tried, but my best was not good enough. So I'm going to have someone help me do that. All those plants were on it and they fell. Yeah. But I'm going to have someone come here and do that. Sky. I'm worried about taking down the fence because of Sky. She moves here a lot. So yeah, let me get started. So I had chayote growing around my fence. It was beautiful. And then, yeah, the dry season hit and the leaves became very old, dry. Plus, I'm not so crazy about chayote. Like, you can only eat so many. And it creeped everywhere, almost on every plant I had around. It was just growing. That stuff cannot stop growing, guys. And as I told you, there were slugs everywhere. There were, it was a breeding ground for the slugs. It really had to grow. So this was my entryway. And it used to be very green and beautiful. But yeah, it aged. It dried and now I have to take it down. I've had it for quite a long time. I'm bored of it. I need to change and do something different. The timber I used was already rotting from down. Some I had eaten bits of them and they were just about to give way. So I took them down at the right time. It wasn't so easy though. I tied some wires around them so it made it so difficult to take them down. But I was so determined to get this done this day. So guys, taking down this fence made me laugh actually. There was some accidents that happened. There was some falling down and lots of running when I hear something slither. Like I thought I'd seen a snake. But yeah, no snakes here. Um, that was just me being me.
so I love working in my garden. I love taking care of my garden. I love doing anything in my garden. Guys, I think I visit my garden every day. Even when there's nothing. Even when there's literally two things growing. I'll check on them every day. That's how much I love my garden. So there is some construction going on in my neighborhood and the guys there are so loud for some reason every time i'm shooting a video they are talking so just bear with me when you hear people at the background So this is how the garden looks like now. Guys, I think I did a good job. Just look. I think I, I really tried. If you think I did a good job, please give me a, a thumbs up. Uh, drop me a comment. Share. Like the video. Um, yeah. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please, please, please subscribe. You know when you subscribe, I get even more motivated. This is my composting, composting pit. So soon I'll be showing you guys around the garden. We'll have a garden tour and you'll see what is growing. So I managed to use my fallen stun as my fence. Again, DIY. I did it myself. Hopefully it stays up. So proud of myself guys look at the strawberries the strawberries are doing well but apart from that i don't really have much to show you i'll get to show you the garden very well in um in another video and when things when there's there's lots more to show as per now this is all i could show you thank you so much for watching guys i will see you in the next one